Hey everyone, my name is Liv. This is my travel project presentation for GER 101. I will be discussing a trip I took this past year to Vienna, Austria, and my hopes for my next trip there. So my first trip I took the second week of February this year. My family advised against going when it was so cold, but it was perfect for me. It didn't snow at all, which surprised me. It was very different from Buffalo. So the climates are very much the same, but they just don't get the snow that I'm used to, especially in Buffalo being right on the, right on Lake Erie. So it was interesting to be so cold yet have no snow. So that was really interesting, but it rained a lot. So that was, it was, it was a very fun time. I liked the weather a lot. Um, the most amazing place I visited was the Schönbrunn Palace. It consists of a huge 186 hectare property with a museum, expansive garden space, and sculptures, as well as this little restaurant I have pictured down here. Um, here I had an apple, apple strudel, a local favorite. I was surprised to find, however, that it was served cold, not at all how my mom would make it. It was also coated in powdered sugar and served with coffee. So I learned that Vienna, and I guess just all of Austria, is all about coffee. So much, so much coffee. And whenever you order a coffee anywhere, they always serve it with water to like dilute it, to follow it with, which I found was very courteous. You know, like here, if you ask for coffee, you know, they give you espresso and they send you on their way. They had to give you water, which is super nice because coffee is bitter, so it's nice to have water to follow it up with. Uh, I also visited the Natural History Museum. I saw a beautifully preserved specimen of all types and even ancient art. The oldest sculpture, or I guess piece of art, that we know, uh, Venus, the little statue, I should have included a picture of it, but you probably know what I'm talking about. That was kept here, and it was very mind-blowing, I think, because this semester I took an ancient art history class and I learned about the sculpture. So when I went here and I actually saw it, I was so excited. I emailed my professor. I said, oh my gosh, I saw, you know, what we talked about in class. And it was a really cool learning experience. This is more of an observation I made. I learned that a regular pizza order consists of ham and corn, as you can see on the left. Uh, when my partner ordered this, I picked on him for quite a while, even as he explained that ham and corn is very normal on pizza here. You see my choices on the left, you know, green peppers and spinach, which I thought was weird enough. But ham and corn was just super weird, you know, not even pepperoni, which, but ham, like sliced ham. That's, is really, really weird for me. Those were, uh, among the biggest takeaways from my last trip, now I'll discuss some of my goals for the next time I visit. Primarily, I hope to be able to speak for myself. This past time, I had people with me to help me communicate and understand menus and signs, but I'd like to have a bit more independence, which this course has helped me kickstart. Also, I would like to visit the Shenburn Zoo. I love zoos. I love animals. And I've heard great things about this zoo, one of the oldest in the world. It was on the same, or it is on the same property as I mentioned earlier, the Shenburn Palace, but it was too cold to go back in February. Not many of the animals would have been out, and that would have been a very anticlimactic uh, zoo visit. Finally, worth noting for some destination goals, I'd like to do some hiking. When I went in February, it was a little too cold and it was too, my visit was too jam-packed with hitting, you know, the, the Stefan spots, the, the, you know, big, big places, you know, the churches, that's what the word, the big churches and, and the palaces and the art museums and then all the, so many museums. So when I went, I didn't have a lot of time for hiking the Alps. So more than half of Austria is forested and being an avid hiker, I obviously wanted to see all of it. In particular, I'd like to visit their national parks, one of which is outlined in blue on the, so on the slide. 
They also have glacier trails, which you don't have here in New York. Uh, not many glaciers around here. So it would be super cool to, to visit. For some longer term goals, I hope to make my next visit to Austria a permanent one. If not my next, um, at least gear up for a more permanent stay. Uh, I hope to live there. I hope to pursue my higher education goals there, so a master's and even a doctorate degree. Ultimately, I like to be a university level professor. I like to teach chemistry and earth science. So, um, maybe physics? We'll see. I'm a science buff, so I'm, I'm hopeful. But, uh, for now, when I move there, I think my goals are more realistic if I aim to teach English, like to, uh, primary school. So, um, we'll see. I just like to live life as a German speaker in a German speaking country. It's where a lot of my heritage is from. My family is from Germany. But Austria is just so full of culture and art and music. It's hard to, to not look there for my future. Well, that's the plan for now anyways. I'm sure life will get in the way, but I know the German language will take me somewhere spectacular either way, whether or not my plans now fall into place. So, yeah, I'm excited to see where life will take me. Thank you for listening.